Hello and welcome to this FDT video tutorial. In this video, we will give you an overview of the FDT View app. The FDT View app is used to configure FDT IP cameras so that you can watch what you love at any time and from anywhere. In this video demonstration, we will be accessing the FDT View app on an Android device. If you are using an iOS device, the FDT View app features may appear differently. However, the functionality of each feature is similar on both devices. Please note, some features may not be available depending on the model you have purchased. For example, if you have an FD7902 Wi-Fi bullet camera, pan and tilt features will not be available. Let's begin. If you have not already, please download the FDT View app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Launch the app. On the camera page, you will be able to view the camera list, add or delete cameras, customize camera settings, and edit camera login information. In order to add a new or existing camera, tap on the Add Camera button. To learn how to set up your camera, please refer to the link in the video description. In order to delete a camera, tap on the trash icon. Then, tap OK to confirm your selection. In order to edit the camera login information, tap on the Edit icon located on the top right corner of the page. Tap the camera you want to edit. The User Settings page will appear. Under Device Settings, you can edit the camera name, username, UID number, and password. When you are finished, tap Done. In order to customize camera settings, tap on the gear icon for the desired camera. On the settings page, you will be able to customize the following settings. Edit password. Here, you can change the camera password. Alarm settings. Here, you can enable or disable motion detection and adjust its sensitivity levels to either low, medium, or high. Alarm link settings. Here, you can enable or disable push notifications to your smartphone, record video to the SD card, alarm emails with snapshots, save snapshots or recordings to the FTP server, and select the number of snapshots per alarm. Time recording setting. Here, you can set the recording length and enable or disable a record schedule. Audio setting. Here, you can select input type, as well as increase or decrease the input and output volume. Video setting. Here, you can set a different bit rate, frame rate, and image quality for first and second stream recordings. Wi-Fi setting. Here, you can set up and connect to your local Wi-Fi network. SD card setting. Here, you can check the total or free space available on your SD card. You also have the option to format the SD card to erase all data at once. Device time setting. Here, you have the option to sync the app with your phone time and modify the time zone settings. Email setting. Here, you can input your email information to forward email alerts. Please tap on the Test button to ensure your email information is correct. FTP setting. Here, you can input your FTP account information to forward videos and alerts to the FTP server. Again, please tap the Test button to ensure your FTP account information is correct. System setting. Here, you have the option to reboot your camera, reset the camera to its factory settings, or check for updates to ensure the app is running the latest firmware. And finally, device information, where you can view specific information about your camera. Please tap the back button twice to return to the camera page. Now let's take a look at the features available in the Live View screen. In order to access it, tap on the camera you wish to view. Your camera will open in full screen mode. 
In order to pan the camera, swipe your finger to the right or left on the screen. In order to tilt the camera, swipe your finger up or down on the screen. A blue arrow will appear to indicate the direction you want the camera to move. At the bottom of the Live View screen is the Configuration menu. The Resolution icon enables you to select the camera streaming quality. Clear, also known as Mainstream Mode, will display video at 1080p, whereas Fluent, also known as Substream Mode, will display video in 720p. The Flip icon will flip the video horizontally, whereas the Mirror icon will mirror the video vertically. In the center is the camera icon. This enables you to take snapshots of the live view screen. All snapshots will be saved in the local files folder available in the app. Next is the video camera icon. This feature enables you to record manually. Please note, you must have an SD card inserted to enable this feature. The audio icon enables you to mute or unmute audio. The microphone icon enables you to receive and transmit audio through the camera. Please note, you will need to hold down the microphone icon to enable two-way audio. On the top of the live view screen, you will see a magnifying glass icon. This feature enables you to zoom in or out of videos as well as enhance its focus. The image setting icon enables you to adjust the image brightness, contrast, and saturation. You can also set the LED status to auto, day, or night mode. And finally, the gear icon. This will return you back to the camera settings page. In order to view snapshots and videos and playback recorded videos, return to the home page. At the bottom of the screen, you will see four tabs. Tap on the Local Files tab. Here, you can browse between pictures and videos saved in your smartphone. Tap on the Playback tab. Here, you can browse and playback recordings stored in the camera's SD card. You can also tap on the magnifying glass icon to filter files accordingly. Last but not least is the About tab. This will display the FTT View app version you are currently using. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos from FTT, where you can watch what you love anywhere.